General Dynamics presented the first four production standard Ajax variants at the DVD 2018 event in Millbrook. This was the first public display of the Ares, Apollo and Atlas variants and another outing for Ajax. The Ajax family will perform alongside the UK's mechanised infantry vehicles once procured and as part of the UK's future strike brigade capability. Within that structure, Ares will provide the reconnaissance support capability and transport reconnaissance personnel to support and exploit the actions of Ajax. Ares will also be the first variant of the Ajax family delivered to the UK for training. And in total, 93 Ares variants will be purchased. Alongside Ares was Apollo, the support repair vehicle. Apollo will help to ensure readiness for Ajax, which in itself is a vital component of how the vehicles will be used. By conducting repairs as close to the battle space as possible, it will ensure that they are always ready for action. For this reason, Apollo is armoured to the same standard as all other vehicles in the family. Finally, Atlas, the recovery variant and fourth vehicle presented at DVD, will be used to recover damaged or immobile vehicles from the battle space. Again, it is armoured to the same standard as the rest of the family, so it can accompany them anywhere. The primary variant of the family is Ajax, the reconnaissance vehicle shown during trials with General Dynamics. Within the Strike Brigade concept, which was formalised under the UK's 2015 Strategic Defence and Security Review, and is expected to become operational by 2025. Ajax will provide a capability between light forces, such as 16 Air Assault Brigade, and heavy forces such as the Royal Tank Regiment. The firepower of Ajax, combined with its armour and the relative ease with which it can be deployed, will provide the UK with a variety of options to approach the future battle space. However, it is likely that the capabilities of Ajax will only be really fully realised if the current structure of the British Army can be reformed to utilise everything that it offers. The Ajax family will not be acting alone it will accompany and support the mechanised infantry vehicle, which is going to be provided by the Boxer. Within the Strike Brigade concept, Boxer will transport the infantry element and Ajax will effectively perform the role of a fire support vehicle for the infantry that the Boxers carry. Together, the vehicles will enable UK forces to deploy over great distances and provide a far more resilient form of force production that can be achieved with elements such as paratroopers. From this capability, Ajax and Boxer together will form a significant deterrent for the UK. The primary armament of Ajax is the Case Telescoped Weapon System, the 40mm cannon developed by CTA International, a collaboration between BAE and Nexter. The weapon is shown here during firing trials with CTAI, conducting first an airburst demonstration, then a point detonating demonstration, and finally an armour piercing demonstration. The unique capabilities of the CT-40, as it is known, enable the gunner or commander to conduct smart fires. For example, a point detonating round could be used to create a hole in a wall, and within the same burst, two air burst rounds could be placed through that same hole. Importantly, the elevation and range of CT-40 means that the gun can be used to engage aerial and urban targets at the same time as providing a large battle sphere for the Ajax. Once in service, Ajax will provide a decisive edge to the UK's fighting capabilities and add to the rapid reaction forces that peer threats are known to consider with greater concern than any element of nuclear deterrent.